Sorry if I'm... Oh yeah, well that was my mother ringing me to like... Well she talks to me for ages and then she's like, and I'm kind of like, oh my god, why are you still talking to me? Which that sounds horrible, but it's true. You know, because there's nothing to talk about. And then she's just like, and then all of a sudden she'll go like, oh sorry I have to go, as if it were like me that was keeping her on the phone. When it was the other way around, it's just like... Um... I want to kind of apologize if these videos and the last videos and the videos in and the last Wind Waker videos have been kind of um boring. It's just that I just really do you know, like at the moment things are really hectic in college. Like I have like exams and I have um I have exams and I have other exams and I have assignments to do and it's just like things are really really just like busy. At the moment, <laughs> things are really busy at the moment, and it's just like I, I don't have much energy. Like I'm not going to like take a break because I think that's silly. I mean, like, I'm not going to take a break just because I'm a little tired, like a little priest. Um, did those guys not even bother flying at me? Jeez, look at them! This is, jeez, you never really get to see them close up like that, which is kind of cool. Well, now they're dead. <laughs> Um, you don't though, I mean, they're always like flying at, like that, you never get to see them close up, because you never get to like sneak up on them. Well, I guess I did. Oh, now I remember, there isn't there like a spider ball track? Yeah, there is, I, now I remember, there's like two ways, when you go into this room, and you go through um this door over here, there's like two ways, there's a morph ball tunnel, and there's a spy. okay, we're back on track, I know what I'm doing now, kind of. Vaguely, slightly. Um, I just haven't had like energy really, so like these videos may have been like a bit lackluster. I'm sorry if that's um, the case, but that's just the way it is sometimes. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's just the way um, things are. Jeez, I'm not messing with you guys. Would you? The good thing about missiles is that it can t is that they can take out like one or two of these guys at one, like two or so of these guys at once and. Now is there anything I can- oh, I see some Chozo lore over there. What is this otherworldly pestilence that infests the land, seeking out life in its blind need for corruption? And where did the meteor that brought it originate? Was it crafted by alien hands, or is it a roving chunk of a planet that suffered a violent end? Our minds quail in horror at the thought of that long ago, in some corner of the universe, as yet unseen by our eyes, an entire planet was perhaps once coated with this great poison. Whatever cataclysm may have ruptured that doomed place must have been mighty indeed, and if other meteors from it spread through space, bearing this evil to the far corners of the universe, we hold fast at the hope that blah blah blah. Not only is surviving Well you don't you guys don't know how like true how true that is. There are planets that are being like completely destroyed, but I don't even know if this is the right way to go. Okay, where am I now? Crossway access way okay, I think this is the right way to go, but I just yeah, there's nothing else we can do in the furnace there for the moment. No, the garbage chute. The garbage chute. A stork. <laughs> so fun. Oh, is there stuff we can do in here? Oh, I like this room. What's in there? Oh, it can't be, can't be opened with that weapon. We can only account for what occurs in this base. Isn't there stuff you can do? Oh, I think there's a really cool, um... Would I ever get my act together? I think there's a really cool, um, chosel. Chozo lore here. But I don't. Am I even doing this the right way? I bet you like a billion dollars that I'm not. I bet you I'm supposed to do it he over here. Or something. Or am I? <laughs> I never know, like, how to. Because there's like a missile expansion or something, or a. There's a something. And I never know how to, like, um, actually start the ball rolling, pardon my pun. Well, no, not pardon my pun. Puns are fun. What, where are you going, Sam Samus? You're just, you're ruining my let's play, Samus. 
I could see what I was doing, it'd be helpful rather than not have all these kooky swinging camera and oh, there's like a million shows all over here. To the entrusted one, if you read these words, then our hope has not been in vain. Your path was fraught with danger. Monstrosities beyond description lurk in the shadows, starving, hunting for prey, searching for ways to quench the poisonous urges that bloom in their brains. Some of these are shrewd, but they are blinded by their evil designs. Believing in the black promise of the great poison, they seek to har harness it for their own ends. Is it, it is these last that are the greatest danger. When you rid the universe of these creatures, you will be the true and trusted one. That's capitalized. You start this again. Do you really like go? Do you? You hear about these things, but do they? Can you really do that? <laughs> that is so funny. None know of our temple. The cradle will prove. None know if our temple, the cradle, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. For now, it wraps around the abomination, cutting it off from the world above. However, we believe the power of cipher, which has been produced by linking the twelve artifacts, should be strong enough. The fate of this world is now left to the one who will collect all of the artifacts in the future. The time when the entrusted one knows is approaching. I think there's one. There's, uh, maybe it's somewhere else I'm thinking about, but there's a really good one. Many Chozo are gifted with the distant sight, and even more begin to learn it as our harmonization with the universe becomes more and more complete. We peer forward, seeing in prophecy the ripples on the water, hearing rumors of the coming days on the breath of the wind. Though we celebrate the distant sight, many of these visions are dark. The worst of the prophecies, and the most common, tells of the coming of the worm, born from parasites, nurtured in poisoned womb. The worm grows, devouring from within, until the world begins to rot. Not all prophecies come to pass, of course, but we can not help for but fear this dark portent. Is that um Oh court I oh yeah cool well maybe this is maybe this is the way ah, <sighs> Don't you just hate it when that happens? What are they talking about? The coming of the worm? What, like the dance the worm? Samus is gonna be doing the worm? Are the Chozo's going to be doing the worm? Is Tardis going to be doing the worm? Something behind the wall seems to be being activated. <laughs> Thardis doing the worm. That would be the funniest thing in the history of the. In just it'd be just so hilarious. Can you imagine like an enormous rock monster doing the worm? Is it the Neverending Story two that has like the big rock monster? Um, that has the big rock monster riding the motorbike. Cause I can't remember. I've seen. I saw like the Never Ending Story two maybe once. Um. And I can't like it was years and years ago. Like I've seen the Never Ending Story one loads of times, but I think it's only once that I've seen Never Ending Story two. <laughs> as, as far as I know, it's as far as I remember, it's not that great to be honest. I've never seen Never Ending Story three, but I think Jack Black is in that one. <laughs> Like as the bad, as like a, as like a bully or whatever, because there's always a bully in those movies. <laughs> um, which I let me know if Never Ending Story Two is the one with the, where the rock monster is riding the big rock motorcycle. Okay, just drop down and get into the elevator, Samus. There we go. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Now don't fall now. Are there two things that you can get here? Yeah, there are a missile expansion. Don't you get some? I'm always like afraid of this part because like I don't want to like um have to do all that again. I thought there were two things that you could do here. Obviously not. Oh well. I'm sure someone will be kind enough to let me know in the comments if I'm being an idiot and forgetting something. How long have we been recording for? 43 minutes. We've gotten like fuck all done in 43 minutes. Well, we're going to get something done now. We'll give them something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. How about love? Love, love! I, like, these rooms always frighten me. These little kind of, like... Uh, 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 these little kind of catacomby rooms. I was... Is there, what kind of this say? Only the holder of twelve shall face the worm. The worm? Would you stop talking about the worm? Samus isn't going to do the worm. Samus's suit would make like doing the worm really difficult. 
Could you imagine her like clunking along on the ground doing the worm? Oh, I love this room. And I love this music. Oh, but watch these guys in the trilogy version. They're just a joke. Watch. Come on, come on. Look, he's dead. One super missile takes him out. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's just like, they're so much more threatening in the original GameCube version, even when you're playing on normal mode or easy or whatever it's called in that one. But, um... There's something I'd like to show you in here, actually. There's, um... There, there aren't too many of these in this game, actually, but, like, this is... this. I think this is actually the first one you can get in this game. It's, um... A missile restock point, or whatever, and there aren't actually that many of them. Jeez, 105 missiles? When did we get 105 missiles? We're like, how... We're, I'd say I'm almost halfway there! Halfway there! Halfway there! Okay, what do we have? Oh, is this the part with the big Chozowski? <laughs> big Chozowski. That's what I always call him, because it's so like... <laughs> wait till you see him. What? Samus... What? What was that? That was so stupid. Come on, let's try that again. Want Jeff Bridges? Where's John Goodman? What about John Goodman and Jeff Bridges all in like in the same shirt? Conjoined, conjoined twins, wearing one of Charlie Sheen's shirts or whatever. Oh, we can get one of these now. We can like go up and get the um, the wave beam one. That's is that where we came in? Oh, that's an. I, I keep thinking that that's purple and it's not. It's like white. I wonder what will open that door. Basically, this room you'll be coming back again. Actually, you'll be coming back again way later in the game, because as you can see, all of these three things they represent um, a different beam. So this purple one is the wave beam. And when you shoot it, you unlock this bomb slot, which like um. Which will like change the path that um, Jeff Bridges here throws you. <laughs> A new path has been opened. I can only account for what occurs on this base. Would you get into the big Chozowski? Get into big Chozowski! Get into big Chozowski! Get into big Chozowski! Get into big Chozowski! Thank you. <laughs> Especially funny because this Chozo was like sitting down, so it like really makes him more like the big Chozowski. Okay, where am I? Okay, thank you. I just, where I hate that when it just like completely like shoot, shoots like a completely different part of the room and you can't remember where you are. Is this like a missile expansion or something? Oh no, it's this. Oh yes, now I see. Now we can like open this door. As far as I remember, this leads to. Um, is there a way to go to Fendrana Drifts this way? Because I remember like when. When you have to like go like towards the end of the game, when you're kind of going back between um, when you're kind of going back, I know I oh I missed a chosen lore back there. Well, I can always get it again. As I said, we're gonna be going back to that room. Drainage shut off is holding maintaining water level at the reflecting pool at 95%. Won't we throw Anthony Blanche in there? Fractures detected in Taloric alloy drain. Well, let's just exploit that, shall we? <laughs> I love this. It always, I don't know why it always reminds you of Batman Returns. That it's like nothing to do with Batman Returns at all. Other than the fact that the penguin lived in the sewers. That's the only thing it has to do with Batman Returns. 